And let's talk about the busloads of illegal migrants being sent to places like New York. These are, of course, people who've just simply wandered across the southern border. Josh, what's going on? This is, this is a serious invasion of the United States, isn't it? Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Look, I mean, uh, this has arguably been Joe Biden's single greatest failing as a po as a policy matter. I mean, inflation, perhaps as well. Inflation reached a 40 year high due to the very easily foreseeable consequence of spending boatloads and boatloads of money during the depths of, uh, of the pandemic, among other things. But uh, holding inflation aside, illegal immigration in America is an absolute Tra tragedy right now. I mean, you have you have hospital systems all across the U.S. Mexico border, whether it's in Brownsville, Texas, Del Rio, Texas, Yuma, Arizona. You know, these hospitals are basically shutting down because they are so flooded. They are so overrun by illegal aliens. And in the, in the United States, you can't turn anyone away as a matter of law from an emergency room. You know, one of my very good friends, his father's actually an OBGYN, a gynecologist out in Arizona. He 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 had to actually shut down his practice within the past couple of years, I think maybe within the past year or two, simply because of how horrible the illegal alien pandemic is there. And he, he just can't pay the bills anymore. I mean, he's having to give away this free health care to say nothing, of course, of the violent threats. I mean, you know, these cartels are flooding the interior with massive violence. How about the drugs? I mean, they're bringing in all these horrific drugs. America is currently a, a tragically at a 30 year high as far as drug overdose deaths. It's, it was, I think it was over 106,000 uh, annual drug overdose deaths last year. That is horrific, horrific stuff. So, they, you know, whatever way you look at it, I mean, even holding aside that bread and butter economic issues like declining wages because of all the illegal aliens going in the country, I mean, in every possible issue, this is a huge, huge deal. You mentioned New York City. What's, what's, inter what's interesting about New York City is that the lefty mayor there, Mayor Eric Adams, has actually come out criticizing the Biden administration's handling of the illegal alien invasion. So, you know, if you've lost your iconic big city liberal Democratic mayor on this, then you probably lost the overwhelming majority of the country. Well, Josh, quickly before you go, here's another disturbing story that, ha that like the Durham report, has disappeared from the media. Three days ago, 60,000 tonnes of ammonium nitrate, which can be used to make explosives, went missing from a train traveling from Wyoming to California. Josh, is the next time we read about this going to be when there's a massive terrorist attack on US soil? I mean, you obviously hope not. I, you, I, I think everyone should be hoping and praying that that is not the case, something like this is a little odd, no doubt about that. By the way, it kind of just paints a broader picture. You know, we've had a lot of train derailments recently in the United States. Um, you know, there was that horrible, horrible derailment in East Palestine, Ohio back in February. There's been any number of other derailments. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with America's rail system in general. Um, you know, I, as it turns out, as I've kind of dived a little more deeply into the data on this topic, America apparently has way more train derailments than France, UK, other major European countries. So. You know, it, it seems we need to get our rail system under control when it comes to the possible threat of, of domestic terrorism, which, again, I, I obviously pray will not be the case here. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a whole ton of confidence um, in the current state of the NSA, the FBI and other kind of domestic law enforcement counterterror agencies. It's, 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 I think it's very difficult to say that you, that you have a lot of faith in these agencies at this point there. So. I, I, God forbid something terrible were to happen. That would be a true tragedy. But, um, you know, look, uh, these agencies have certainly been in better state in the past. I'll put it to you that way. Yeah, they're too busy targeting Republicans and parents, in fact. Josh Hammer th from Newsweek, thanks for your time. Thanks, Brad. That's Josh Hammer, opinion editor of Newsweek and host of the popular podcast, The Josh Hammer Show, live from Florida.